Hey guys, welcome back. Well, I've been doing a lot of MASH videos lately and uh, this one is going to be about MASH again for the simple reason that it is so, so powerful. A lot of things that you had to do in alternative ways in the past can now be done in MASH and I'm going to show you a few, okay? So let's uh, jump in, have some fun. Here we go. Hey guys, we're in Maya 2018. Let's get started. So we're going to simply take a, uh, let's see, we'll take a sphere. Okay, and there we go. And you can make that as high poly as you like, but I'm just gonna leave it at default, which in my case is, uh, let's see, I think 20 by 20, yeah, there we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that guy and I'm gonna put it on a curb, okay? So I'm gonna go in, uh, create, we're gonna go to curve tools and let's create a, actually go to nerves primitives and we'll take a circle right there, all right. We're going to hit R to scale that out. Now, let's say you want this to resemble something like a necklace or whatnot, okay? You're going to right-click at a control vertex, and you're basically going to drag, select those vertices, and you can just hit W and move them and kind of manipulate them. So I'm going to drag like these, and I'm going to hit R and kind of scale those in until you have a shape that you're happy with, okay? All right. So now that we have that, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select this guy and I'm going to go up to my MASH tab right there and I'm going to create a MASH network. Now keep in mind that when you do that, it um, by default uh, creates 10 of them in a linear pattern. But what you need to keep in mind is you open the, up, uh, the outliner, your original sphere is hidden. That's this guy right here. These are all instances, okay? So if you want to change the size or whatnot, you need to change the one on the hidden one, okay? So now that we have this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our mesh network right there, and we're gonna go in, and I'm gonna set this to 50, uh, I'm not gonna use the word copies because they're not copies, they're instances. 50, I'm gonna set the distribution to zero, all right? Now that looks a bit odd, but bear with me. Now what I want to do is I want these uh, spheres to be on my necklace, okay? So uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go into my nas mesh network and I'm going to select curve and add curve node. Now as I do that, I can now take the curve that I created and put that into the curve option right here. So I'm going to middle mouse click and drag and drop it right there. Now, as you do that, you see that it has been placed on the curve and we need to tweak this a little bit. So you can change the steps here and by pushing that out, you can see that that works quite well, right? Right now I set it to one. So you've got all of this stuff going on. And the cool thing is if you wanted to change this, right click at a vertex, actually I need to be selecting my curve here and I'll hit four for wireframe mode so you can see it right click control vertex, I can go in and I can actually hit W and move that, right? Cool, right? Okay, let's go back, there we go. Not quite there yet, we're gonna go back to our mesh tab and let's see what we can do to kind of make this a bit more fun, right? So, for example, we can add a randomizer. We can go to add random node. As we do that, you see that the pattern and the position is changing. Now, I don't want it to be off my curve, so I'm gonna move all these position ones back. However, what you can do is you can tweak the scale. You can make them bigger or smaller. You see how that changes in that direction. Now, that's not the direction that we want. We'll try this one. Here, that could work if you did it really, really subtle. So let's try 0.1 you will just get a slightly more natural look because some of them are a little bit, you know, different shape and so forth. And then you have this random seed here that you can play with. You see how that jitters a bit? You can do that as well, okay? So that is something you can do. Let's see what else. Uh, we're gonna go back to our mash node. And let's see, we'll select it right here. And what you can do is go into your curve and you can play with the animation speed. You see how that rotates? So if I were to go in and set this to, let's say, a thousand frames, and I would hit play and increase that animation speed to something like that, 
you see how that's going now keep in mind what you can do with this a lot of things you can do a bike chain you can do a tank thread you can do basically anything that's rotating okay and if you wanted to make it even cooler than that what you can do is go into your mesh node once again and in this case let's add a signal okay and when you do that and you hit play look what happens we'll go in and we'll decrease that animation speed hang on and hit play now is that cool or what okay so just a couple of things to show you guys how much fun mash is and uh, you know I just want to encourage you to play around with that and uh, have some fun and uh, please let me know in the comments what you came up with right I'd really love to see it okay so have fun with this uh, if you liked the video as always please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss out any uh, future videos and if you haven't already check out my google plus hangout group a bunch of artists there learning and sharing so if you want to be part of that check out the link below okay well that said uh, thanks for watching and see you guys next time bye Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.